And I'm Titus. And it's Valentine's Day! Yay! Do you have a Valentine's, Titus? No. Me either. Well, welcome to the Morning Roar. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And we're back. Aren't you happy to see our faces? Anime and Tabletop Gaming Club meets every Friday after school in, Fri in Mr. Alfred's room, 139. If you're a senior like me and you want your baby picture put in the yearbook, please visit yearbook order, yearbookcenter.com with your parents because you need your parents. Interested in joining Pride Club? Meet Mrs. T. Meet in Mrs. T's room in the Media Center Thursday after school. Student Council wants to find your match with Match O Maddox. Find the love of your life for only $5 during fourth or fifth lunch. Today, Wildcats, we challenge you, since it's Valentine's Day, to pass out chocolate kisses. Mm, delicious. And now for a quick break. So today I'm buying a matchmaking um, form. Wait, let me see it. I want to see it. Did you want to buy one? To be honest, I'm really nervous. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> And I'm really awkward too. All right, perfect. We just need you to fill out this form. All right. I'm allergic to Hi. <laughs> perfect. So now we just need five dollars, and then we'll find the love of your life for you. Hi. Hey, uh, Bobby. So. You wanted me here for some reason? Yeah, we actually have a surprise for you. We found your perfect match. Really? Thomas? Is it? It's Thomas. Hey. Thomas? <laughs> Find your perfect match for only $5 at 4th and 5th lunch and stay tuned for future student council events. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Well, here I am. What are your other two wishes? Hey there. You remember me? Oh, wait, you don't. That's right. Because I always, meet, I only meet you in my dreams. Can I follow you to where you're going right now? Because my parents always told me to follow my dreams. They say, nothing lasts forever. You want to be my nothing? On a scale of one to 10, you are a nine, because I am the one you need. Hey, are you a transformer? Because you'd be Optimus. Fine. Hey, go. you know CPR? Because you took my breath away. Now to Isaiah with the sports. What's up, Wildcats? It's your boy Isaiah Fields back at it again with the sports. And today we have some very good things happening. Both winter sports is over, sadly. I know I had to start off with a little bit of bad news. Even though our girls basketball team made it to the playoffs and then our girls soccer team made it to the playoffs as well. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you for your services. And then also, be sure to vote in KJ Patrick this week for Athlete of the Week. He did a really good job against Serato, and all Arizona wants to do is commemorate that. So go vote him in. Just go, go, go vote. It's at azcentral.com, or just ask Coach Coletti in his office, and we, we got it. And then also, now that Valentine's Day is rolling around, I got a pickup line for you guys to use. It's going to be smooth as peanut butter. It's going to be good. Now watch. All right, girl, whenever I look at you, I wish I were cross-eyed. You know why? So I can look at you twice. All right, back to the desk. I don't think that would work with me. That's a dub. No. 
You know what, Naya? Bring the camera back here. All right, you see, Naya? This is why you don't have a Valentine. <laughs> OK. Well, this week is CTE week, and every day we'll be talking to a Career Technical Education Club on campus. Today, I have a special guest with me here to talk about DECA. So, Miranda, what is DECA? Um, DECA is the largest international business club. What places have DECA traveled to to compete? Um, in the past few years, we've gone to New York, Seattle, California, and the next month we go to Florida. Wow. How has this program been beneficial to you? Um, by having DECA on my resume, it's gotten me every job I've ever applied for just because it's such an impressive organization. So what do you think that students should expect from DECA? Um, lots of traveling and fun for sure, but um, also learning communication skills and business skills that you need for your future career. Well, if this is a program that sounds beneficial to you, sign up. And that's all we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a great day.